just have one of you put your robot up about an inch and then drop it to the net. You know, just an oh. inch. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, go ahead. All right, great. Uh, well, pick out your favorite run and uh, describe to me how it works and show it. And I'll take a picture here so that I can help remember you. Uh, we made a robot, so... Uh, let's see. So which mission? Um, so we did family... Um, so pick a mission and set it up and run it and describe it to you. Wait, so um, we'll do the tree branch. Okay, so for this we use this like for sideways and okay. we go ahead and run it. Okay. It's supposed to be laying down on the mat. Yeah. Yeah. Give it one more shot. I mean, you're actually showing me one good thing, which is consistency. <laughs> so, okay, guys. Right. Okay. So, I, uh, one thing I noticed in here that there's a, an orange uh, lever on the outside of the wheel here. Mm -hmm. is, is that does that have some particular use? Uh, not really, but it makes the wheel stay in the place. Okay. Yeah. Good. Sometimes it like touches the mm -hmm. yeah. okay. motor. So it actually sometimes yeah. helps with like um, how many turns it does. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, that's an interesting point. You can yeah. count it pretty easily by looking at it. Okay. Uh, so I'm curious. Do you send the robot down at the far end of the yeah. table? Yeah. Yeah. So last, yeah, we uh, catch two pets and wait. Is there's some some equipment in the starting point in the beginning, right? Th there is. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then yeah, put so we this. Put this on the sideways motor. You travel down to this end of the board twice or once? Uh, uh three times. Three times. Once? Oh wait. I think it was once. <laughs> once? Yeah, so, yeah, once. So we go once right here and then take that, come yeah. back, then we get the pets. When yeah. you say that, are you talking about the guy? Yeah, yeah the guy. Can you show me how you get that? Okay. Well, they're setting that up. Uh, what, what was your guys' job in uh, the robot? Did you do some programming or construction? They did or? Uh, project. Work. These two did the programming. Uh -huh. Us, we all of us did the making, okay. and and all, all of us made PowerPoint. Okay. So can you show me how you get the the green hand? Oh, where's the stick? Do well, you have any extra piece? No, quick. Let's go. No, what do you mean? You can't. So the stick is this? Oh, don't, yeah, don't take it apart. Your so, I mean, do you spear the loop? Is that the idea? No, we cover it oh. like this. And then you just drag it. Yeah, you just drag it like this. With, with this piece here? Yeah. It looks like it's not wide enough, the, the way you did it. Yeah, so sometimes we just slam them and crunch them like this. It uh, works. You know, but every once in a while, the big hammer is the bad approach. Okay, so um, I can't tell real quick, but um, perhaps <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Do you use any sensors on your robot? Nope. Okay. So when you when you get down here, then the opportunity for variance in location is larger. Is there some way that you uh, uh, help the robot uh, kind of determine where it is? Uh, we start. We count the. Meters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like count like. Yeah. So for our last step, we use four on this side and then six on this side. Then it goes straight. Yeah, it okay. goes straight down and it works. Okay. So were you able to reuse some of the code that sends the robot down here? For example, does it travel maybe this far before it finally does something different for these missions? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about that? The code that you reuse. So first, you go down between the truck and the emergency. Emergency uh, car. Mm -hmm. We turn this way. We push this guy in here in the red space. And then we we have all the pets and the people like 
the person yeah. here. Yeah. And one more person here. here. Yeah. Like, put it on. Uh huh. Okay. Like this. Oh, I see. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And then over there, we, we, we drop, drop, them. drop them. We drop them. And yeah. we, go, we go back around and push the. Push it a little bit and push it like this. So it falls. <laughs> yeah, could you pick that up for me? Yeah. Great. Uh, are you able to show me the run where you, you, you run into the isolation basin? Okay. It's going to be a whole run, but. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. While we're getting that set up, maybe one of you could uh, tell me about uh, which runs did you decide to do and not do and why? Well, um, Go ahead and keep working on this. Okay, yeah. Well, we decided to do the tsunami because it was the most easiest run. And we decided not to do these because um, our back motor is the wall. Oh, 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 um, oh, the wire was And we the back motor is the ball, so it's kind of hard to get over these obstacles. Yeah, and, and, so, we, and didn't uh, yeah. This, we didn't do this one because we tried like a bunch of times and it didn't work. Yeah. I think our um, robot's too light. Okay, so how far out here before the code that we uh, was the used code? Oh. Okay. So, all right. So tell me a little bit more about the just the uh, the driving mechanism. Did you did you did you use this from day one? Did you iterate on the design at all? Well, we first we made a base. It's just with motor this part and and then this cover part. Mm -hmm. We added the sides next, and then we added the front. Okay. And we used the cover to like do the tsunami. Yeah. Because. So like, you want like, okay. okay. And then somebody thought of getting the rock cover. Yeah. So like the, yeah, cover here. Something that doesn't. Yeah. So I noticed. I noticed that actually something very interesting when the robot came down here, it was able to glance off of this without getting stuck because of that bumper. I thought that was a nice touch. Did you? So the, there's a particular size of wheel that you have there. Did you experiment with other wheel sizes? Um, we first made with this this thing, and we we thought of changing, but. We realized that we were, we were doing it with rotation, so if we change the wheel, so rotation will change, and the, all the program has to be re redone. redone. I see. Yeah. So something I'd like to oops, watch out for the cable. So could you set the robot up for its first mission, and then not run it, and then I'd like to watch you change uh, for the second mission. Oh. Oh yeah, the first one's the. This one, so. We didn't bring you here. Okay, uh, so put in the second mission and change the third then. That's, that's also fine. Well, the second mission. Yeah, we. No. What's your strategy for being at the table? Do you, is it the same two guys or do you change in now? It's us two. Okay, so go ahead and set it up for the second mission. And, oh, so I we, see. You we, start, we start like this. Mm -hmm. then we, it comes back like this. So we take, yeah, we take it we off. We take like, this off. We take the thing off and we take two flats. Okay. Off. And while doing the one. motor. And then there's this one. If everything goes perfectly, how many times does the robot come back to base? Uh, three. Okay. One, oh, wait, two, no. three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Three. And where's the robot lined up at the end? Red. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. So how did? Um, I think you told me a little bit first about how the programming went. Um, did you? Again, did you all participate in programming? Like, did one group do one mission, another group do another mission? So or did you? We, first of all, we all tried like programming. And there were some like benefits, and like, there were some people who were like really good, and like some people were good, better at like building and stuff. Uh -huh. So then from there, so us two, we were pretty good at programming, so, and they were all good at building. So they built all like the add ons, and Okay. Built the and then the first we made two robots for. Oh, well, we have six people, so we divide up into three, three. Mm -hmm. made two. So and then we could do more missions. Yeah. So we made the exact same robot. Okay. And was the was the program? Could you run the same program on both robot, robots? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's that's really great. Yeah. So one last question: uh, If you had suddenly an extra week to work on the robot, what would you do? I would go for. A
for I'll what? go for a perfect six, six, six. Okay, well those are two different uh, yeah. goals. What, what do you think? If you had an extra week, mm. how would you spend it on the robot? I'll go. I think we should probably like fix it up a little more. <laughs> <and do it. laughs> well guys, uh, thanks for showing me your robot. I really enjoyed that. Have yeah. a great time today and uh, a lot of fun and good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I'll let you sneak out of your robot so I can read.